Hello everyone. Welcome to the talk Red Team Credentials Old with a Twist. This talk is presented in DEFCON 29 Adversary Village. Uh, about me, my name is Shantanu Khandelwal. I am a cybersecurity manager at KPMG. I enjoy working in cybersecurity and have been working in this industry for almost five years now. My journey started with my master's degree in cybersecurity and incident response. I also have some certifications like OSEP, OSCE, OSCP, etc. This is my first talk at DEF CON, so hopefully everything will go fine. Uh, so the disclaimer here, uh, the opinions expressed in this presentation and on the following slides are solely those of the presenter, that's me, and not necessarily those of KPMG Private Limited. KPMG does not guarantee the accuracy or reliability of the information provided herein. Okay, so that's done. In this talk, we are going to walk through some of the basic uh, introduction of GitHub, a description and a small walkthrough of current GitHub reconnaissance methodologies. We will also discuss some drawbacks of these methodologies. Then I'm going to introduce a tool which I wrote named as Cred Stroller. We'll also do a walkthrough of it. We'll also talk about some of the future work that can be done to improve the tool as well. So why are we here? And before we, we, we and before we start this talk, I want to go over the reconnaissance quickly and how it fits inside an adversary simulation or emulation methodology. Reconnaissance is the first step in kill chain, as we know. As a red teamer, we often do it before the initial compromise phase. And everyone in InfoSec keeps saying information gathering or reconnaissance is the most critical steps. Is one of the most critical steps. Okay. Uh, what is reconnaissance? Okay. So in generally, we refer to reconnaissance as to find emails, subdomains, IP ranges, leaked passwords, etc. for the target organization. In this talk, we are going to focus on the sensitive data exposure by GitHub. So what is GitHub? As per Wiki, it is a provider of internet hosting for software development and version control using command line tool called Git. Developers use GitHub for storage, sharing projects, collaboration, data transfer, etc. From an adversary's perspective, GitHub is a gold mine. It is mass used and, and its mass usage makes it a prime target and developers use often and developers often use this uh, often use GitHub uh, and they unknowingly commit proprietary source code or credentials to the GitHub repository. Interesting information in repository. So we can find several critical information inside GitHub repositories like usernames, passwords, keys, email addresses, subdomains, proprietary source code even. We can also find software stack from there as well, right? In this report, in this talk, we are going to focus on the credentials part. So one of the ways which we do GitHub reconnaissance is manual reconnaissance. Uh, searching for the company and then password will find stored passwords and configuration file. Searching for company connection string will find database credentials. You can also look for SSH passwords using the keyword SSH2 underscore auth, right? Send keys is my personal favorite. It can find you automation scripts used by the testers who are also sometimes not security savvy and commit passwords to the Git repositories. There are some docs which you can use to find sensitive information as well. Many researchers have blog posts on it. Here is one of the list 
uh, which you can use. You can find other lists as well. So here is the first demo. Hopefully it will go well, and then we can uh, you know move forward from there. So if I if I go to uh, GitHub and search for um, redteam.cafe. You can see that there is 21 results and there are several repositories like test1, test2, uh, domain fronts, um, etc. Okay, so let's see if we can use a team.cafe and then the keyword password to look for passwords. So if I search for passwords, now we have come down from 21 results to five results. Okay, so we see that. Uh, we see passwords here, we see some passwords here, uh, some Terraform passwords here. We also see some send keys passwords here in the in the automation scripts. And we also see one of these results where the team cafe is here. And then we also see a word password. But of course, this one is not related to the credential search because it does not list any passwords, right? Okay. So this is the manual searching. You can use password or API or, or any other keywords which you like to search for passwords or secrets, right? I don't see any API keys being exposed here. So uh, there's none here, but you can actually use other keywords here as well, like those docs which you mentioned previously, okay? Uh, I just want to bring your attention to one to one thing which I mentioned very briefly last time is that there are two or three repositories which are coming up, test one, test two, okay? And then there are some other repositories as well, okay? So keep in mind these test one as test two repositories as these have been uploaded and designed to showcase you the real impact of the uh, CRED stroller plugin which we discuss later. So that's the end of the first manual reconnaissance demo. So coming back to our slides again. So in the manual reconnaissance, we saw that we can find, uh, so that we can find passwords like here. Uh, we, we, we see that there are uh, send keys passwords, there are web config passwords, and then there are FTP passwords here. Okay, so uh, moving forward and then, so basically uh, a question comes to my mind that are we losing some of the data or are we getting all of these passwords which are leaked by redteam.cafe, red right? So just thinking um, uh, how GitHub search works is that if you put two keywords such as company name and password in the search bar, we are actually finding the results in which both the keywords, the company name and passwords are uh, are inside. So one pass, one file will have these both keywords, company name and password, okay? There were also results which had just the word password, but it contains no passwords. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so another approach to search for Passwords is using automated approach, which is for, which is using the current tools, name, namely Trufflehog, Git Secrets, Git Scan, etc. The uh, the disadvantage of using these tools is that these tools will only search for the repositories within an organization for a specific user or in a specific repository. Why this is the case is because GitHub does not currently allow you to search all of its repositories using API. Previously, it was allowed, but now it is it has been disallowed because of the abuse of searching passwords inside repositories using APIs, okay? So this API, uh, for searching passwords or any keywords uh, on GitHub has been discontinued, I think since two years now, 
okay and why these are working is because github only provides searches inside an organization inside a user repositories or inside one specific repository okay so let's quickly do an automated reconnaissance demo and then we can go to our new tool which i have developed and uh, look look at that as well so quickly let's do an automated reconnaissance uh, demo so here um, here i have uh, him using truffle hog okay and in truffle hog we can go and see uh, how and we can search for credentials here so how to use that truffle is is truffle hog and then if i provide the keyword regex and then I can go and take one repository. So let's say I'll take test one, and then I can pass in the uh, argument. And if I click enter, it will search inside that repository and find me passwords, okay? So I can see that it has only found me one password here, which is also not very visible, and it only shows high entropy, etc. You can already see that in, in the manual reconnaissance, we found, we found more passwords. Uh, I may be running this tool wrong. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I can definitely tell you that I've, I've used many other tools. They will never always find you all of these results. Some of, some of them will miss something or the other. Okay, so this was a very small demo of the current tools. Um, if Truffle Hog author is watching me, please uh, do let me know how to use this tool. Um, but moving forward, uh, so um, so we saw in automated reconnaissance that it it barely finds one password. But even if it finds all the passwords, we have to give all of these repositories uh, line by line. Uh, and then it will it will become difficult for you to find all of these repositories because if you're searching for a very big organization, you will have hundreds of repositories and providing that hundreds of repositories and then passing it as command line will actually be very difficult. Uh, and then finding passwords like this, uh, which is not very highlightable as well, uh, will prove more, will have more difficulty as well. Okay. So, there's, so this brings us to Quet Stroller, yet another GitHub search tool. So Quet Stroller, as I mentioned, is developed by me. It, it is an automated reconnaissance tool. It's a Chrome plugin made in JavaScript. Uh, so Quet Stroller searches for the company name first and then after the search completes, it will actually go inside each of the repositories which mentions the company name, and then it will try to search for the password inside that repository. Thread Stroller also allows you to do a regex search. The regex search is mentioned as lucky results. So why do we need Thread Stroller, right? So Cred Stroller is searching for credentials using regex. GitHub does not allow you to search regex. So this is one of the major advantages. Uh, it allows search inside the repositories uh, after, uh, after matching the company name, and then you can go and search for the keywords. It has two types of results, all results and lucky results. The lucky results are based out of a regex, which is a customizable regex. It is very easy to deploy and does not need any expertise. It's a Chrome plugin, so it's very easy to use as well. Uh, both blue teams and red teams can use it. Blue teams can use it to monitor credentials for their organization, while red teams can use it to search for the leaked credentials inside very or inside many repositories. Uh, this, this search is is in depth and it will have uh, more passwords than just searching for two or three keywords. It also has an uh, advantage that it runs in background. So once it starts, you can uh, actually come back at a later stage and see all the results. This is particularly useful if the search results for your company name 
uh, which you are searching are very large. Okay, so how can Stroller work? So, uh, so think of this as a browser. So once you open your browser and use the Quest Stroller, the Quest Stroller will search the GitHub using the UI and it will try to get the repositories. Okay, so, so searching for the UI is for the is for the company keyword. Okay, and once you once it gets the repositories, uh, it now the repositories are basically uh, sent to the API to search for the keywords. So this section is all for the keywords. So once we get the repositories, these repositories are now sent to the API to search for the keywords. So the keywords are searched and once the keywords are searched, they are all the uh, search results are stored in all results. Okay, so till here, no regular expression uh, regex has been applied. So if the file contains a uh, get password method, so all all results will have a get password method in uh, in its output. Okay. Uh, after all of all of these results are gathered, all of these results are now filtered using the regex, and then we get the lucky results. So lucky results are basically uh, a subset of all the results, uh, and it is uh, and it is and it comes from uh, all the results after applying the regular expressions. Uh, so um, a lot of talk already. Uh, let's see the demo and hope it works. Okay, so let's go back to GitHub again. I hope everything is visible. Maybe I can increase some font size. Okay. Uh, so if you click on the Cred Stroller uh, plugin, which is uh, which I've installed here. Uh, there are many buttons here. Uh, I'll go through all of these buttons here as well. So, of course, submit search is for the searching. All results are, as I mentioned previously, all of the results. And I am feeling lucky button is for the lucky results. Uh, you have these two buttons for clearing the results and the lucky results. You have the save configuration and the load configuration as well. Uh, these two fields are for the tokens. Uh, I'll share with you later uh, what these tokens are, or maybe you know GitHub tokens and GitHub username. Uh, these two buttons are basically default search keywords and default regex. Uh, you can modify it as per your liking. Uh, today I have modified it to use uh, only two keywords, and uh, and I have kept the same regex. Uh, and I'll put red team cafe here. So if you uh, so what uh, so this what, what this will do is it will search for a theme of cafe as a company name in all of the GitHub repositories. Once it finds those repositories, it will go and search for all these keywords which I have separated by comma, and then it will uh, find these keywords inside all of the files which we found uh, in the repositories. And then it will parse it with this uh, with this regex and see if there are any lucky results. Those lucky results will be saved in the uh, lucky file, which we can see later. So let's quickly submit the search. Uh, the search takes a bit of time, uh, so it will uh, go automatically to all of the pages. Uh, and then once all of the searching finishes, it will stop. So, so the searching from the UI has stopped, but the background mode is still working. Uh, to see how it works and the background mode working, we can come back to the uh, Cred Stroller plugin. Uh, we can click on show all results. So all results are basically, as I told you previously, are all of the results. Uh, so if there's a password word anywhere, you can see the password here. Of course, this is too much overwhelming, and uh, there are so many results here. You can keep scrolling, and these are these are being still added. So there are so many results. You can uh, you can find so much data here. Okay. Wow. Okay, <laughs> we found some uh, usernames and passwords here uh, as well. So basically, as I told you, uh, uh, 
all results are, are definitely all of the results which Chris Stroller can come up with. We are also interested in the lucky results. So lucky results are the results which are parsed and and you know uh, are retrieved from all of the results after using the regular expressions. I think this one is still populating. Um, so let's wait for a few minutes and come back to it uh, once all of the results are populated. Okay, but you can see here, uh, in the meantime, you can see here that it has already populated one, one result, which has, uh, which was not populated, or which was not shown to us in the first manual search, where we searched for uh, Retin of Cafe and the password. So this specific keyword and password was not shown there. Okay. Uh, let's see and let's hope if this is uh, already updated. It is not updated yet. So let's wait for a few more minutes. Okay, so all of the results have been populated now, and we can see that it has found a lot of passwords. Um, it has also uh, it has also found some passwords which we were which we didn't find the last time, like these ones. Okay, and it has also find found passwords uh, which I didn't intend to find in the first place. But okay, uh, as long as it works, I'm I'm great. Okay. So uh, of course you can see that there are some false positives like these, but this actually tells me that there is some automation script which I can go and see inside this specific repository. So it is still useful. I'll not say this is completely useful, but this does gives me an idea of what may be inside this repository. Okay, uh, so we come back to the results here and we can see that it has found some passwords here. Uh, now this password was definitely not found in the first manual search. Why? Because this specific file, if I go to this file, you can see that there is no mention of redtheme.cafe. Okay, so if there is no mention of redtheme.cafe, the combined search, the combined manual search of redteam.cafe space password will definitely not find this file because there is no mention of redteam.cafe in this specific file. So I can say this is the best scenario of why you should use Crestroller because Crestroller is actually able to find these passwords which are hidden inside configuration files and may not have the company name inside those files, okay? Um, so coming back to the slides. Uh, so as you can think, uh, this can also be abused for mass credential gathering. I will not deep dive into that because that's that is something I leave up, leave it up to your imagination. Um, if you provide right uh, rejects, then you can do anything you want from this tool. Uh, for the future improvements, uh, there are some uh, there are some uh, GitHub API restrictions which we think we should bypass or we should try to uh, you know uh, uh, which we should you know uh, overcome. Uh, so that's why we were using two keys. We can use many keys. So as many, so the more keys you use, more faster is the search. We are definitely thinking to add, or I'm definitely thinking to add the cron job functionality because this will greatly increase the usability of the tool. So I can 
uh, I can run it in the background and then if even and, uh, and it will keep searching after every one hour for uh, for example and anytime there is a there is a, a cred leak I can quickly get a notification on my desktop uh, we can have an export to CSV because that's very important and because sometimes we need CSV to you know show to the management uh, we can also think of adding more rejects. Uh, so if community wants, they can, you know, add more rejects and the keywords, and then we can have multiple uh, keywords and rejects for people to use in the future. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know, or please let me know using the Discord channel. Uh, so that's it. Um, thank you. Um, you can contact me if you have any questions uh, after this talk. You can contact me on Twitter uh, at Shantanu Khande. That's my handle. And you can also find me on my website. Um, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.